Hey guys, if you like this content, I would greatly appreciate it if you guys liked the video and subscribed to my channel. It helps uh, make these videos worth it going forward. What's up guys, Alcoin Sherpa here with a crypto market review. As always, this is not financial advice. I'm not an expert, do your own research. Okay, so today I'm going to review some altcoins. I'm going to review uh, Fetch AI first. This one was an absolute monster. It uh, arguably started um, the altcoin rally overall. And uh, narrative-wise, it really kicked off just due to chat GPT, I think. But, um, you know, we saw like clear, like it's always easy to say this in hindsight, of course, like accumulation for this long period here where price didn't do anything for several months went down hit the first big move up in late uh, or I'm sorry mid-December consolidated and then had this absolute monster run um, do I think this is going to continue I mean price always goes higher or lower than you think I personally think this looks more like distribution now um, I think that this could have been the blow off top here that we saw uh, from the 28 cents all the way to 60 cents, you know when it doubled super strong move up Obviously all coin conditions are really strong, but I think that the overall um, Narrative of AI is probably weakening. I think that It's probably time to start getting ready to to get out of this coin if you're already in it uh, generally speaking when you look at um, peaks you look to see high volatility um, so if you're looking at this type of price action here at the uh, top back in 2021, you're seeing high volatility, big wicks up with ugly candle closes. You're going to see, um, you know, a lack of um, or like some blow off top with lots of mixed volume of buyers, buyers and sellers fighting it out. But usually, generally speaking, the buying will stop, momentum will stop, and then things will just start to start um, slowly grinding down. You can see that in... Um, if you just clear the charts away, you can look to see lots of these ugly candle closes and huge volatility at the peak. And that's really common. So I'm not necessarily saying this is like it and it's over quite yet, but there's a clear difference in my opinion between um, like something like this, where this looks like, what the hell? This looks like, um, clear consolidation before another move up you can see how tight the candles are um, you know you see that it goes up and then just kind of consolidates and then another uh, move up whereas something like this that we're seeing right now it's like crazy spikes in both directions huge amount of volume um, generally speaking this is more indicative of a top pattern than uh, than anything else so you know again like this other move that we saw back in uh, early December market conditions were quite a bit different than they are now you know Bitcoin wasn't as insane but um, but as you can see here big blow off top with huge amount of volatility usually generally speaking this is not super uh, encouraging like you can see it's similar to here as well where like lots of big candles going in both directions same thing with this topping pattern uh, back in 2021 late 2021 uh, and again, um, back in April 2021 as well before the big dump. Of course, it's always easy to say this in hindsight. And you can also argue, too, that price looked pretty fucking ugly back um, in February of 2021. But and like this still continued higher. But the overall environment is just much, much different, in my opinion, um, two years ago in February 21 than it is now. Bitcoin was having that huge rally. Um, all coins are all coins were consolidating for many months after years of just destruction i think that the overall environment is just way different in my opinion uh it's true that bitcoin is rallying right now but the overall market structure is just way different from um you know when it had that run from 10k to 60k uh, initial run up for bitcoin whereas now it's having an arguably uh bearish uh little bear market rally i'm not saying that you know i i don't know where the long-term bottom is for bitcoin if i'm being honest with you but um like the environment is just way different so i believe that this is getting close to topping out uh i i wouldn't be surprised if we see some more ugly candle closes and then um you know potentially just head on lower okay so let's check out um phantom 
Phantom was a really strong coin. Phantom uh, had a lot of big moves because its treasury was so strong. I think that everybody was really encouraged by seeing uh, all of that. And um, where, is it at? where is it at now? So it reached this former um, three-day high around uh, 60 cents and pulled back and uh, went all the way down to 40 cents and now it's coming back up again. I think that it's pretty clear to me personally that if we can break this kind of area around 60 cents, then I think we see something like 78 cents to 90 cents. Um, and then, you know, that's kind of like the next area up. Again, don't know how much fuel this has left, though. Um, you know, FTM did get fucking annihilated before. Like, we saw this go from what? All the way, like, four bucks, three bucks, um, 350, all the way back down to like 15 cents. So, absolute destruction, uh, similar to every other altcoin out there. But to me, it's pretty clear. If we break kind of this 60 cents, 65 cents area, then I think that we uh, go uh, to the 75 cents to 89 cent area to 95 cents. But again, um, I really would like to see some high time frame closes above this current area. Uh, wouldn't surprise me at all to see this start coming back down either. Um, so it's really going to be dependent on Bitcoin. Like if Bitcoin uh, like pulls back, then I think that we see something like uh, consolidation at the 40 cent level um, and then potentially another move up. But again, it's really going to depend on Bitcoin. Take a look at Blur. Blur was an awesome airdrop. I got some Blur tokens. I sold around one, uh, 105, I think like something like that, 105, 106. Um, I actually was pretty sure it was going to do something like this. This is a very common um, airdrop pattern. And the reason is that um, you see everybody claiming their airdrop and just dumping it, right? Because it's free money, like book your win. Like obviously you want to dump before everyone else dumps. I get it. But what people need to understand is that a lot of these big projects, especially if they have big, big backers like Blur did, they had a lot of like, really prominent VCs, lots of liquidity. Um, they probably like had a lot of, um, they have really good market makers, I'm assuming. And what the market makers are going to do is like, they're going to just buy all these um, random tokens that people are just dumping and then they're just going to pump price. And it doesn't take much to move price after that because everybody already sold all their uh, airdrop tokens. So everything that's left is really, there's like not as many sellers on the way down just because everybody dumped. So the way to play this pattern is to um, scroll down to really low time frame charts and just kind of wait for something like this to happen where you see like some sort of reversal come back down and then you're gonna see it come back close again. And then you can also buy right here where it's a consolidation pattern uh, and and just just kind of DCA in. I think it's a really smart idea. Again, it really depends on though your strategy. Like, you know, nabbing bottoms on this is a really dangerous thing. Um, like, you know, if you bought around 45 cents, 50 cents, that's great for you, but I think that's a really dangerous thing. Um, I personally don't do that. I'd rather wait till the consolidation and then for another run up. Um, where are we at now with Blur? Like, I think that it's still like it's still a very valuable coin the valuation is very high though three billion now like if you compare that to something like open c then I, i'm sure open c's valuation is absolutely insane it's like multiple billions but um you know blur is a decent interface i, I liked the product i think that it's it's a pretty reasonable platform uh i think that I think that this coin probably is going to just continue um, being a pretty decent one and it's probably going to have a decent amount of volatility as well. So you might want to just wait until um, like this still this area like looks like a reasonable place to buy in my opinion. Um, simple SR level right around the 84 cent level. You could also wait until like the 70 cents, uh, 75 cent area as well. If Bitcoin dumps then I expect this area to come uh, and this in my opinion would be a pretty solid buy. Um, what we could also do here is we could also put a fib out and this is probably my preferred way of uh, looking for entries so uh, i'm just going to go from uh, bottom to top and you can see that the 0.5 already got tapped you can look at the 76 cents area as the 618 fib uh, you could fill out this entire range actually too this would be a fine way of, of going about it as well um, and maybe that's just probably better to be honest with you just uh, going 
we'll go we'll go we'll go from uh top to bottom here top to bottom so again 0.5 fib and the 382 it lines up perfectly fine with um 78 cents so like this is probably the area i would start to buy around uh 66 cents and 78 um cents or so these two areas are areas that i would probably just go and buy at it's like these are pretty clean setups because it's a new newly traded coin so you don't have a bunch of bullshit um price action before that really chops things up this is just should be a pretty clear um chart so like for me if i were to bid this one i would just go ahead and bid 786 uh, or i'm sorry 78 78 cents area as well as the 67 uh, cents area these two seem like pretty high probability uh, bounce areas especially if bitcoin continues to dump those are like pretty decent areas in my opinion to bid uh, let's take a look at link uh, I capitulated on my link bag and I'm happy I did. This is a shit coin that I told myself I'd actually be fine holding for a while, but lo and behold, I am not happy holding for a while. Uh, I'm too impatient. It, the chart itself actually looks still amazing. Um, if I'm being honest with you, but I just don't know if like the narrative is there for link. It's chopped around for what looks like uh, 283 days. So, um, 10 months or something like that. Uh, almost 10 months. Uh, so it looks great as i said all the emas lining up um everything's chopping around everything's consolidating but i'm just gonna wait until this first has this big move so like even if it moves up like 40 percent 30 percent um i'll just hop on the train after that but until then it's just like too much opportunity cost just holding the money if you want just a slow trade where you're probably not going to win much make much money in the short term or lose too much money in the short term this is probably a decent one where it's a high probability of just going up over the next several months if bitcoin uh is stable but for now if you are an active trader i think that it's really just not um i i don't think it's really really a great token to trade actively it's more of just like a passive one and that's okay everybody has different strategies everyone has different risk tolerances so um it still looks great on high, t high time frame charts, but still not really uh, going into this one. Uh, let's just briefly look at Stargate. Stargate is one that I'm looking at right now. It's a um, currently uh, went up to you know this this area. I am I'm looking to buy a dip. I'm looking to buy around. Uh, I'm just scaling in at 109 to 95 cents. Um, but after looking at that blur chart, I actually might just buy blur instead. I don't know. Let's take a look. Like this is violently dumping. I think that this, um, you know, it could just tap this, uh, wick high here around this 114, but I think it's actually going lower. I, I I'm pretty sure it's just going to like sub dollar. Um, and I'm just going to buy sub dollar. Uh, you know, most of my entries are actually around 95 cents to be honest with you. I, I think that, um, it's just it's just like the 382 fib is just uh pretty de decent and there's like there's some confluence as well from the former um wix back when it first got listed in august of 2022 so overall i think that um you know this is just an area where i'm just going to go and check it out um but we'll kind of see if i if i do that or blur anyways um still think that this is a reasonable chart um i am exposed to sbyn as well so kind of using the bridge narrative and i think that you know understanding the uh, fa is really important in this current environment so um yeah hopefully you guys enjoy this video and have a good weekend